138991. I did my informative speech on uh, baseball. Um, I started playing baseball at six years old. I played all the way through all four years in high school. Then I went to a uh, junior college in North Carolina called Surrey Community College. Uh, I played there two years, and uh, hopefully this is my last stop here. Um, some history of baseball. Uh, Americans began playing baseball in the early 1800s. Uh, Alexander Cartwright, he, he was uh, he was known as like the person who made the first set of rules for baseball, and it was uh, widely adapted. Uh, this, in 1869, the Cincinnati Red Stockings were like the first uh, team that had a salary, so they're kind of like the first professional team. Uh, in 1871, the uh, the uh, it was a the first professional baseball league. The National Association of Professional Baseball Players was established. And uh, the first major league, the National League, was formed in 1876. Um, baseball came from a, a British game called Rounders, and it's like the game of cricket where you got to bounce the ball and hit it. It's kind of hard. Uh, back then, the balls they used were dead, so it was more of a pitcher's game because uh, it was a lot harder to hit home runs. Pitchers used to throw a lot of legal pitches like spitballs and stuff to give them an edge. In 1920, they made a rule change so they couldn't do that. And uh, black Americans had their own lead from 1885 to 1951. Um, those are some professional baseball leads that showed up over the years in all those places. Uh, the first international tournament was held in 1938 called the Baseball World Cup and is still being played today. Uh, they have 30 major, te 30 major league teams and they draw a total of 79.5 million people in 2007. Uh, today, baseball has a lot of problems with steroids. Uh, those guys are like the face of steroids. Uh, Jose Canseco wrote a book, and he said that 80% of the baseball players use steroids today, which helps them give them an edge. So all the like home run records and stuff have question marks beside it, because I guess it's like cheating. Uh, when they first made the rules up about steroid testing, like uh, the, if you fail the first time, you'd only get 10 games suspension. If you fail the second time, it'd be 30 games, and so on. But now they had to make it stricter. where uh, if you test positive the first time, you get 50 games, the second time 100, and the third time would be a lifetime suspension from the uh, MLB. Uh, the difference between college and high school baseball and the pros is we use aluminum bats and they use wood bats. But uh, in the 2011 season for college, they switched to BB core bats, which uh, is supposed to reduce the speed off the bat. It's supposed to help the pitcher but protect him so the ball didn't come up the middle. And um, high school made this rule in 2012 so where they had to use that too. Uh, BB core bats have a small sweet spot so it's uh, a lot harder to square it up. Uh, in 2011, the uh, home runs in college dropped about half than what it was in 2010 when they used the other ba baseball bats. And uh, in the college level, all the pitchers' own run averages dropped about a run by having the new bats, so it helped them out a lot. And those are the pictures of the bats, the BB core bats, and that was the old bats right there. And that's it. Give Ryan some feedback, 